This is TP-Link RE650 AC2600 Universal Dual Pants Range Extender or Repeater, whatever you need to call it. Also, it will work like an access point if you run RJ45 cable to this device. Uh, I bought this around six months ago and I just recorded the unboxing and didn't upload anything and using it continuously for last six months and uh, it is a pretty good device. I'm making this video because I bought it bought this for around 8,000 rupees and now it is available for around 6,800 rupees on these year end sales. Uh, this has four antennas as you can see. Uh, it's like a bed or I don't know whatever you need to call it <laughs> call it because that antenna looks crazy cute uh okay mm, uh, it has an 800 mbps of 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth and uh, 1700 over 1700 mbps of 5 gigahertz band it has 4x uh mumo that is a mu mimo simultaneously transfer data to multiple devices uh, four streams of data to multiple devices also a gigabyte ethernet port and intelligent signal light uh, that will show a green sorry a blue light when everything is connected uh, fine the, as you can see that's the blue light uh, when the connection drops it will tend to red uh, it's also work like work in ap mode uh, as i said as you can see uh, i have an ac5300 as my main router that was the exclusive router i was using for last two to three years but now i have more than 30 devices connected to this device and uh, there is no 5 years uh, bands in the ground floor uh, the quick setup itself will ask you a few questions and if you answer it correctly it will work uh, without any problem you can connect to network in 2.4 years and 5 years uh, or only in 2.4 g or 5 g i use uh static ip address uh also i turned off dhcp server i never use power schedule uh and the wi-fi uh, that's also maximum and access control i never use that time settings okay you can choose your time zone led light you can control that uh, also turn off it if you like and the firmware is pretty old and that is stable version there is no new firmware available also as i said you can use it as an access point if you run rj45 directly to this device uh, i'm using uh, 2.4 g as backbone backbone and uh, 5g exclusively for all other devices that support uh, 5 gigahertz that is all modern devices will support 5 gigahertz and uh, this is the utility i used to uh, set up this device uh, this is a speed test tool uh, it will launch a local speed test server you can connect you can run the speed test server on your laptop and connect it to the main device main uh, router in my case that is ac5300 and i will run a speed test on different locations in my home and decide where i need to put the range extender uh, because uh, as i said i use 2.4 g as back phone so uh, i make sure that i am getting around 3 to 500 mbps 600 mbps on that band uh, that in that location i will put a uh, put this uh, range extender range extender because i i can share that 600 uh, mbps of bandwidth to uh, all other devices that is uh, getting connected to this uh, range extender uh, this is a demo uh, this is not the actual speed test because i didn't uh, yes i run several speed tests but i didn't record it so uh, this is a sample speed test uh, yes I, I got um, around 800 mbps 700 mbps uh, when i connected um, in downstairs using this method uh, on my macbook pro that is getting around 1.3 gbps of bandwidth uh, to this uh, range extender and my lg gram is uh, getting only 800 mbps as you can see this um, this is the footage after six months as uh, there is a lot of dust in this device okay back to that speed matter uh, my lg gram is getting around 800 mbps of total bandwidth and uh, the actual bandwidth is around 500 to 550 mbps my samsung tv was getting only 30 mbps for my ac5300 but after this extender 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 
uh, uh, installed my Samsung TV is getting more than 350 Mbps and my Fire TV also getting more than 400 Mbps right now and my other TV in my other uh, room that is uh, MI TV I believe uh, that's uh, support only 2.4 GHz and it's also getting more than 200 Mbps uh, without any problem and all tablets and security cameras yes security cameras are struggling to get a 2.4 GHz signal from my AC5300 I was using a small old uh, repeater uh, for that security camera now I removed that repeater and I'm using this uh, range extender uh signal for that security camera they are getting more than 70 to 80 percent signal outdoors from this uh, range extender so my ac5300 is uh serving only the first four right now i turned down the uh, signal power uh, so uh, i can uh, save some power also device will not overheat uh, now it is serving only first floor and this uh, range extender is uh, serving all devices in the uh, ground floor uh, more than 10 to 15 devices are connected to this device uh, it's rarely sometimes crash i should say i uh, need to restart uh, most of the time the internet uh, when the internet is getting failed uh, it's it will stuck for some time, but it is very rare. It is not a problem uh, for me at least uh, As you can see uh, there is a LED indicator uh, To if it is failed you can see that it, the red LED. I didn't uh, take a chance and didn't get a chance to take a photograph of that and the design is very cute uh, it's a it's like a little baby uh, with ears and hands I don't know uh, you can decide uh, what is the looks okay uh, let's come to the point uh, it's an AC router it's not the latest one okay it's it's not the Wi-Fi 6 the fancy Wi-Fi 6 the Wi-Fi 6 routers and repeaters are available right now but I don't have any wireless uh, Wi-Fi 6 devices available at the time I purchased this there was no uh, X version available but right now X uh, 50 1500 Wi-Fi 6 uh, uh, repeater is available from TP-Link so if you are living in a very crowded uh, uh, city uh, you are you can get a Wi-Fi 6 because that is uh, the beauty of Wi-Fi 6 because uh, the technology enable uh, you to connect uh, faster in very crowded very crowded uh, areas like city uh, mall etc i am living in a village so i don't think i need wi-fi 6 but yes it is uh, latest and greatest uh, better technology but i don't have any wi-fi 6 devices right now and if you don't have a wi-fi 6 uh, device and you are living in a village or less crowded wi-fi crowded uh, area uh, i don't think investing in wi-fi 6 is a good idea uh, maybe yes it's a future there is future proofing so if you really need Wi-Fi 6 get a Wi-Fi 6 but uh, uh, as I said Wi-Fi 6 is X1500 this is AC2600 that is the bandwidth this has 2.6 Gbps of total bandwidth that is one uh, one one also has 1.5 Gbps of total bandwidth so in terms of bandwidth uh, and cost this is the better device it is a, it has a dual core processor i believe you can check the description i'll put a link to this uh, product that said product i purchased in the video description so you can uh, check that uh, link as i said uh, it will automatically pick up uh, you can connect to both bands 5g and 2.4g if you like it will automatically choose the one uh but uh, in my in my testing uh, it was uh, choosing five years band but uh, theoretically the theoretically and practically the bandwidth was very less i'm getting less speed so i exclusively use 2.4 years as backbone and now i'm getting over 800 mbps uh in the real world speed of 700 750 mbps uh, in the ground floor because I choose uh, 2.4 GS backbone and uh, there is not a lot of devices are connected in this band in my home most of the devices are 5 GHz so that's it uh, it's a quick uh, video regarding the RE650 this, this is the best product I bought 
in a long time uh, i really like this product uh, it helped me a lot and i really love this product uh, i didn't regret buying it for 8000 rupees uh, in 6 months ago still uh, i love this product it was 799 <laughs> oh my gosh okay anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is vishnu uh, check the link in the video description for the exact product i purchased and check openspeedtest.com for that speed test utility uh, so you can decide where you need to put this device uh, that is really helpful and anyway uh, if you have any questions or comments leave the comment leave it in comments okay anyway that's it for now bye good night yes i am recording this in late night that's why good night okay bye